effort to be with us here today. Your support and your efforts in the last month have not gone unnoticed and you should all be proud of the way that the industry has come together to fight this terrible liberal decision. We are horse people and we will fight and we will fight just as hard for the Fort Erie people as we will for the Windsor people. We will fight just as hard for the Ajax Downs people as we will for the Hiawatha people. Regardless of whether you're involved in standard bread, quarter horse, or thoroughbred racing, we are one. We are all horse people with a common goal, and that is to overturn an ill-advised Liberal government decision. We are here today to demand Premier Dalton McGuinty, his Finance Minister Dwight Duncan, and Paul Godfrey, the Chair of the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation, reverse the decision to cancel the slots revenue sharing program with Ontario's horse racing industry. Why do Canadians mistrust our politicians? Because they'll say anything to get elected. Case in point, just three weeks, three weeks before the last provincial election, in an email to us, Dalton McGuinty clearly stated that he and his party supported the horse racing industry. What he told us was this, Ontario Liberals have great respect and admiration for the racing community and for OHA. We value the positive impact that the horse racing industry has on the agricultural sector in this province and we believe in working closely with the industry to ensure that it remains strong and prosperous in the future. That was less than six months ago. What's changed since then? McGuinty and the Liberals won the election and now we don't matter. We, the horse farmers of Ontario, are paying the price for Liberal government mismanagement, waste, incompetence and depending on the outcome of an OPP investigation into the orange scandal, possible corruption. If the government's decision to cut us out of the slot revenue sharing program is allowed to stand, it will destroy horse racing as a crucial part of Ontario's agricultural economy. This is what our industry looks like. We're horsemen, we're hay farmers, we're grain farmers. Horse breeders, blacksmiths, veterinarians, feed suppliers, auto suppliers, and the list goes on and on. These are just a few of the network of agricultural enterprises whose very survival is also at stake if horse racing is allowed to die. In defense, in defense of their misguided decision, McGuinty's Liberal government claims it's a choice between health care and horse racing. Let me remind you, the horse racing industry contributes $2.6 billion to the Ontario economy each year. We already pay millions towards health care, kindergarten and other government funded programs. The revenue sharing partnership with the province has been a successful program for almost 15 years. Why change now? We understand the difficulties that the province province is facing and we want to be a part of the solution. Yes. We are here to ask that the McGuinty government sit down with us and discuss ways to enhance an already successful partnership. Yeah. We are hard-working people who would much rather be in our barns caring for our horses than standing on the front lawn of Queen's Park begging for our jobs. Yeah. One month ago this government turned its back on the industry announcing an end to the revenue sharing agreement. This government thought we would quietly accept the inevitable death of our rich 250-year history. We are here to say they greatly miscalculated our devotion to our horses, to our families, to our communities, and to our jobs. We can also assure this Liberal government that if they choose to go forward with their plans, that they have greatly miscalculated the impact that this decision will have on the outcome of the next election. time to be with us here today and continue your efforts each and every day until we have this ill-advised attempt to end our revenue sharing arrangement overturned. Yeah. I'd like to I'd
I'd like to introduce now somebody that's been with us right from the very start of this. Is the probably the first call I got that said, "Did you hear?" It's, 